After three and a half years of a crisis that threatened the very core of the Gulf region, GCC leaders have agreed to end divisions and usher in a new era of cooperation. The Ola Ola Declaration uh, is, uh, has achieved a settlement of uh, all issues outstanding in a way that is entirely satisfactory uh, to all nations involved, to all the countries involved. We are extremely pleased with having been able to achieve this very important breakthrough uh, that we believe will contribute very much to the stability and secu uh, security uh, of all our nations in the region. Uh, and yes, uh, all the outstanding uh, uh, whether it's the re returning of diplomatic relations, flights, etc., all of that will now go back to normal. Earlier, the summit had got off to a promising start when Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman insisted on hugging Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani as the latter touched down in the Saudi city of Al Ula. The clearest indication yet that both countries were on the way to mending relations. The Qatari leader confirmed his attendance at the 41st GCC summit at the 11th hour, only after Saudi Arabia agreed to lift the land, air and sea blockade it had been imposing on Doha since 2017. In his opening remarks to fellow leaders, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman emphasized the importance of cooperation and unity between the GCC member states. Today we are in a dire need to stand united in the face of the challenges, namely Iran's nuclear and ballistic missile programs and other agendas adopted by its respected arms in the region, which undermine the stability of the region. This demands that we dovetail our efforts with the international community to cement the stability and security of the region. Also in attendance at the summit was senior White House advisor and President Donald Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. It was after his visit to Doha and Riyadh late last year that a breakthrough in negotiations that had been led by Kuwait was reached. Since the start of the crisis, Kuwait had been exerting its efforts to solve the dispute with its late Emir, Sheikh Sabah al Ahmed al Sabah, successfully preventing the military invasion of Qatar. It was no surprise then that the Al Ula summit was named after Sabah, together with the late leader of Oman, who also passed away in 2020. With all four blockading countries now agreeing to open their land, air and sea borders to Qatar, the Gulf region can now begin a new chapter, one that its leaders say will be written by all of them together. Jamal Al-Shayyal, Al-Jazeera, Doha.